God's plan hasn't changed. <laughs> That's the cool thing. What does it mean for Jesus to be the Son of God? And how does he make every believer a child of God? Stay tuned to find out. During my recent birthday live stream, I welcomed guests and took questions from the audience. Islam Critiqued had the following insight to offer on the Sonship of Jesus, a topic that often confuses Christians and non-Christians alike. The Sonship of Jesus also can be understood against the Old Testament because what does a child of God do in the Old Testament, right? If you're functioning as a child of God in the Old Testament, according to the Torah, you have various roles and responsibilities. Okay, so an obvious one would be priest, right? So that's one of them. A king would be another one. From Genesis 1, we get royalty language as well. Um, you're a king, you're a, a queen, uh, because of the, the way that, that they're described in ancient Near Eastern terminology. You have imagers, right? So if we just take those things, the children of God in the Old Testament are image bearers, they're kings and queens, they're priests, okay? If you are a child, if you are a human in the Old Testament and you are functioning the way God wants you to, you are at least those things we could talk about more, okay? If Jesus is God incarnate, if he's human, then what is he by definition? He's a child of God because he is what in the New Testament? He's our great high priest, right? He's our king. He is the perfect image of God, okay? And so these Old Testament functions then are perfectly fulfilled by Jesus and then reapplied to believers where we reign with Christ. We are a kingdom of priests, right? we are being conformed to the image of Christ. And so I think that it may help to see Jesus's sonship and why does he have that status? Because he is God incarnate and God incarnate by definition is going to fulfill God's will perfectly. And so therefore God incarnate is by definition a son of God, a child of God, right? This is obviously used throughout Exodus and through um, Hosea, another significant son passage out of Egypt I called my son that of course Matthew uh, recalls in his gospel so if, if there's any confusion about the sonship of Christ I would recommend looking at that from the perspective of his humanity and the roles and responsibilities that humanity was supposed to perform in the Old Testament and maybe that helps understand the sonship relationship a bit either way I think that's really interesting background to see you know the son of god language and how that applies to jesus you can actually go through um and i've done this and i've looked at all of the roles and responsibilities that i can find everything from imager to king to uh to priest and, and so forth and you can actually find in the new testament where christ fulfills those and where they're reapplied to believers and so we're included in that identity because of christ's atoning work yeah, that, that's excellent. I had never really considered that aspect of the sonship, but I really like that. that fulfilling God's will makes you a child of God. So, of course, Jesus is the son in that respect. Yeah. yeah. And Jesus is our great high priest. We're a kingdom of priests, you know, recalling that Exodus language. It, it all, you know, God's plan in the Old Testament is fulfilled by Christ in the New Testament. And it's fulfilled for us in Christ. And so God's plan hasn't changed. <laughs> That's the cool thing. It's still the same as it was. And so this is, you know, the sense of what's our relationship to the Torah? Well, we are fulfilling the Torah. We're fulfilling all those roles and responsibilities, but we're doing it in Christ and through Christ. I then tackled the follow-up question about whether son was merely a title. So let's get back to the, the comment from Joe. So he, meaning Jesus, is not literally God's son. It's just a title. Well, I guess, I mean, that kind of depends on what you mean by literally. But if you mean that there's some sort of biological process involved, then absolutely. We, we don't believe anything like that. If it's helpful to say that it's a title, 
and it certainly is a title, then I would that's useful. But I think that the term sun also encompasses a little bit more than just like you know a generic random title. It, it shows the nature of the eternal relationship between the members of the Godhead that from all eternity they've been loving one another the way that a father loves a son. If you would like to see more of our discussion or the live stream in general, click here. Thanks for watching.